Okay, here we are in Revit 2017 looking at an issue uh, with using a connection plate, specifically a shear plate, to join two beams. Let's we'll start out here on level 2 uh, with a W16 by 100. Let's draw it in a little bit and then I'm going to pick another beam but a lot smaller, an 8 by 28. and I'm going to scroll in here and we're going to connect that in. So here we can see that we have uh, the two beams <coughs> to verify that their top flanges are together. Uh, we go into a 3D view, move around. We'll just look at from the front view. We're going to add in a connection plate here by just going to connection shear plate we're going to grab the large one grab the small one and then hit enter <coughs> puts in a shear plate for us but it's not what we want what we want is a plate that can be welded to the top flange the bottom flange and the web of the larger beam and we want a straight cut back of this connecting beam. So we'll start that by selecting the shear plate. Modify the parameters. I'll move the dialog box down a little bit. And as far as the properties, we're not going to change anything there. Cuts and stiffeners. In the beam cut, what we want is from flange, not from face. And the cutback we want at zero. Uh, we want it zero and straight web cut in parallel and we can see that that brings our beam back here the top cope we want none the bottom cope we want none the bottom stiffener or beam stiffener none column stiffener none plates and bolts Plate layout is our first. Three aces is okay. We want both sides. These zeros are fine. We don't want any gap, but we want a flange both in there. And radius at inner corners. We'll let it uh, figure that out. And when we go to plate shape, we can see now that our shear plate goes all the way up and down however it does not go out into the um, connecting beam under plate shape we're just going to have it as straight bolts and holes um, three quarter inch all this is fine horizontal bolts what we want is beam end not plate we can see that automatically takes this out. Edge distance of 2 is fine. Number of bolts is 1. Again, this is horizontal or uh, rows of, or columns if you want to think of it that way. Edge distance and inch and a half is fine. Vertical bolts layout in middle is correct. That's what we want. Um, 2 bolts, inch and a half from the edge and three inches from the end. Here. So, what's the issue? Well, if we zoom in real close here, this is the issue. The step. There is no reason for that step to be there. None whatsoever. So we can say, well, why don't we just go ahead and shove this area edge up here a little bit. I'm going to stay zoomed in, kind of move that over to the side, go back to our modify parameters and see if we can do that. How can we do that? Well, it appears the only way that you can try to adjust this is on the um, vertical bolts. So here we can see that we've got spacing and spacing 2 is from the bottom of the flange to the top of the plate. So it looks like that's just a little bit large 
here. So if I were to go in and set item 2, oh wait a minute, there is no way to set item 2. The layout distance is stuck at 3 inches. Wait a minute, maybe I can go back no, the layout's beam in, and this is edge distance. This number two has to do with this direction. So I can't just adjust that. Well, that doesn't make any sense. But number five is an inch and a half. That's from the edge of the plate down. So is that from the edge of the plate here or from the edge of the plate out there? I don't know. Let's try to adjust it and see what happens. So if I take this and I'm going to put in a larger number, three quarter, and say one and three quarter. Well, my plate grew. Well, let's go back and look at it again at one and a half. And it's too short. So what about one and nine sixteenths. Last entered parameter generates invalid geometry. Hmm. And why is that? Because that would then make this line, even with this line, which is what we want, but Revit says you can't have that. And therein lies the problem. Thanks for watching.